uh, okay, this is question three. It's asking how, which undefined term is used to define an angle. So this is more of a like a, a kind of a a concept kind of question or math terminology question. So let's ask, let's say here, which defined term is used to define an angle. Okay, so this is a geometry question. If you're a geometry student, this is kind of what, what's familiar to you. So this is a ge geometry question. Or well, actually, I think it's a pre-algebra question as well. I think it's both uh, pre-algebra pre -algebra and um, I think it's actually more so a pre-algebra question than a geometry question. Um, just because what we're doing is we are, we are we're looking at kind of uh, points, rays, planes, lines. We're looking at all these concepts. So um, take a moment to think about this question. Again, what defined term is it defined in an angle? So maybe first define what an angle is. Let's, so what, what is an angle? So what is an angle? Angle. So let's define, so here are the steps to, for, for, for if you're listening from home or watching from home. Let's de first define what an angle is. And then second, we have to know what a defined term is. Define, defined term, <laughs> or what is defined term? Let me just ask, what is a defined term? So what is a defined term? Or sorry, this is asking what is undefined, right? Sorry, my bad. This is what, which un, which undefined term? This is undefined, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna erase this. This is what, what is an undefined term? Let's take a moment to think about this and then we're gonna move on. So which undefined term is used to define an angle? It's very, very confusing how they, how they, uh, that fra they phrase this question. But which undefined term is used to define an angle? Then they're given four options, point, ray, plane, and line. So how would we solve this problem? How would we solve this problem? So this is actually kind of a tricky question. And it's a tricky question because first let's define what an angle is. So an angle, if you remember from uh, pre-algebra, is kind of two rays connected to a vertex. So how we do this is, remember what a ray is, is I have a point here and I have a, a ray extends only in one, kind of one direction here, right? And if I'm an angle, I would have something like this, right? I would have like a, for example, like an angle that's less than 90 degrees would have two rays. This is, I have two rays, two rays that are connected, that are connected by this here is a vertex or a point. You can say this is a vertex because they meet together. And then this here, um, I can label it theta or something. This here is our angle, right? Again, this is kind of what we've been, uh, what we're familiar with. So this is a, but, but, so this is an angle. So. Now we have to ask ourselves, what is an undefined term? An undefined term. So an undefined term means that it's just from these, from undefined terms, we can define all our, all our terms in geometry. So let me just walk through these four things first. Let me go through these four things. So what's a point? So a point, again, is just kind of one singular coordinate in space, right? So point here looks something like this. It tells us one coordinate in space. Could that be able, does that give us information about an angle? Not necessarily, which means point here A is wrong. So I'm gonna break this down. B here is a ray. A ray here is what we're looking for in this, uh, in this problem here, which is correct, right? So again, a ray is one direction uh, one direction and it's going towards something, right? Which is good. So uh, ray could be an acceptable answer, but I'm gonna go back and uh, improve on my answer after. C here is a plane. And what is a, a plane? A plane is something that's kind of, uh, it's in two dimensions. So it has no width or, or it has a width of, um, of, an, of, in, uh, of an infinite length, an infinite width and extends infinitely in two dimensions. So for example, in a XY plane is something we're familiar with, right? 
uh, this is x, this is y, this is an xy plane. So this helps us um, determine, we plot a lot on something called the Cartesian plane, so an xy plane, which is cool. Um, but this doesn't help us find an angle, right? Angle is made by two rays, right? And then d here is a line. And a line is different from a ray in the sense that it's saying it's going from one point and it has a defined uh, end point here. So let's so these so of all these four things, I can say that A is wrong uh, and C is wrong. But B and D are could be possible answers because both of them, if I have a ray like this, I could have also a line that goes like this, right? I could have something like a line that goes like this and a line that goes like this, and this would still make it angle here, right? So again, line and ray are both correct answers, but we have to go look up, look back at the question. What is an undefined term? When we talk about undefined terms, there's only three undefined terms that we well, that you should be familiar with. So undefined terms such as, so point is an undefined term, a line is an undefined term, and a plane is an undefined term. So these to uh, these the, these options, so these all these all op these are all undefined terms. And when we talk about undefined terms, is from these terms we can define other terms, such as array. Array is a defined term, right? Uh, this array here is a defined term because what what array is made up of is made up of one point and a line, right? And that's what it is. It's made up of one point, and then we're extending this line infinitely in one direction, right? It's made up of uh, one point here, and then what we what we have here is this is a point, and this arrowhead just means like it's a line, but it's in, it's just extended infinitely in one direction, right? So it's extended infinitely. That's all it is. It's, so from that term, from a point and a line, what we can do is define a ray. So in this case, this is a not an un, a ray is a defined term, not an undefined term. So this is also the wrong answer, which means the line because it's also it's an undefined term is our answer here, and that's going to be our answer for number three. So let me look at uh, let me look at uh, their their solution here. So option D is true. That's awesome. That's great because our solution was option D. Uh, they have here, these are two lines to define angle. We have two straight lines that intersect each other. Okay, that works. And figure one, we have, okay, cool. So they drew a diagram here. A is false. B is false. Array is a defined term, right? That's good. Um, I would have liked something if they were to kind of go more in depth as to how they define ray as a defined term. Um, C is false, D is true, hence the answers. I like this solution. Um, I'm going to say good solution. Um, I um, maybe I should have maybe uh, I I'm going to also write here um, could also expand on how on how we define. I'm going to put this in quotes to not confuse the person. Define Ray as a defined as a defined term rather than just seeing array array is a defined term like why is it a defined term term in geometry so could also define could also explain how we define ray as a defined term rather than just saying defined term and i i defined it as um uh, array equal is is a point and also a line extended infinitely in one direction made up of defined terms uh, or this is an undefined term right this is which is an undefined term so again array is a defined term right made up of defined terms yeah cool awesome or sorry this is undefined undefined terms okay cool that's going to be our answer for the solution. I'm going to mark our solution as correct.